Every Monday at 4 o'clock, we take you inside the Fox 10 News Vault. It's an archive of stories taking you down memory lane. You know, back in the 60s, moonshining was big business in parts of the South. Special agents, though, started cracking down on moonshiners in the 70s. A reporter, Bill Capo, spoke with one man who says the illegal business was being phased out because the new generation was too lazy to work. That's a quote. Here's the story. Sites like this former still are becoming rare these days. Alcohol, tobacco, and firearms agents say this still in West Mobile County was broken up and one person arrested over a month ago. Special Agent Peter Willemos says few people are making moonshine anymore. Now his agents find about one or two stills a month as compared to the 10 to 15 they used to break up each month in the 1960s. It is becoming common for them to find patches of marijuana growing on or near the sites of former stills being cultivated by one-time moonshiners. The reason is that moonshine is more expensive to make now. It is no longer as socially acceptable as it once was, and there are health reasons. Well, all the old people that would work make it about dead and gone, and the young generation won't uh, make it. They're too uh, lazy to work. They want to fool with pot, something ain't no work in. Think there'll be much moonshine available? No, there ain't much available now in 10 years from now. There won't be any at all. Making moonshine is an art, if you can call it that, that has always been governed by traditions. It's been passed down from father to son. Yet now, if we're to believe people like Marshall Young, those traditions are being broken in favor of more profitable products like marijuana. Perhaps that's just another symbol of how much this country is being affected by change. This is Bill Capo for Channel 10 Newsbeat.